Morning. Lovely bright day today. Uh, cheer us all up. Um, we're still very flooded in various parts of the country, badly in the case of Somerset. Excuse me while I swig my tea. We're going to try and do a simple flooded landscape of, the, of those levels. I'm making this up. We've seen lots of pictures on our television screens about uh, Somerset, West Country and Kent. <laughs> Yelding in Kent. Uh, we've had so much rain. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll use my hake to do the sky and I'll, I'll try to show this lovely day at the moment. I'll, plenty of water on the hake. I'll just put in some, oops, splashing. Just put in some nice, nice blue, blue sky. I'm not wetting the paper first, I'm, I'm sort of wetting it with the with the paint and I'll paint around the clouds as you come down to the horizon you need less less intense blue intense blue and I'll put in some Some of these levels are sunset levels, these are the, the flooded areas. I'm going to put in some, as far as I can, some simple trees. I always have a cloth handy to take off excess moisture. I'm going to put in some bit of raw sienna now in my background for some of these trees. You don't, if you look at the clouds, they're, they're not white. They look white because, by contrast to the rest of the landscape, they look very light. But in fact, there, there's quite a lot of colour in them. So if you can remember that, you'll get more realistic uh, clouds. But I don't know if it was Turner who said, make your clouds of silver, not of lead. Uh, so there's, there's the colour in our sky, that'll dry lighter, we hope. And I'll, by wetting some of this all over, it's, it should help the uh, landscape to, or the, the paper itself to, uh, to spread out uniformly. Let's put in a bit of this colour here. I'm sort of wetting the paper as I go now just because I want it all to expand in a uniform fashion, otherwise it'll go a bit buckled. And then I can dry this. This is the Buckingford uh, 140 pounds rough. It's a lovely paper. It's a bit more forgiving than the Fabriano, but then Fabriano is great for the wet and wet. And it's relatively inexpensive. So is this really. It's not that much more expensive than the Fabriano. In fact, it's about the same. But then, one price one day and another price another day. Um, I've changed the height of my easel. My, I'm using my box easel. I quite like the box easel. I bought it years ago and I paid a lot of money for it and they're much cheaper now. I don't want it uh, too dry. Now with my, um, my number 12 round brush, my sable mix brush, I'm going to uh, do a bit of a background using sky colours. Um, my cloth handy. Um, just, just a bit of a Background hills, Mendips, I think that's the appropriate uh, group of hills. Not far from Glastonbury, this. 
trying to keep that power. I haven't done any drawing on this, I'm just making this up as I go along. It only exists in my mind. But I just like nice open landscapes. But it's very sad for those people that whose livelihoods have been wrecked and their homes ruined. And there are many thousands of those. It's just like that. change to uh, a number 10 round and just put in some background trees lost in the floods. Now I'm, I'm going to do them as winter trees because that's what we've got. I've used a bit of burnt umber, a bit of, a bit of ultra. So uh, make sure you don't want it too wet. So that's why you have your, have your bit of cloth handy. I will uh, just put a bit, bit of lemon yellow in there as well. And some reflections coming down into the uh, we're just hinting at those at the moment. I will put some, uh, well they're a bit too similar. You have to watch that, but you don't want to create everything the same. So we'll have some fainter ones there in the background here. darker notes on the horizon there. So this is this is the background we'll we'll put in detail as we as we get to it. And let's put some harder I'm using lemon yellow Bit of a bit of ultramarine, a bit of Payne's grey for this. So we we'll put in some darker. So this is all the background. But I'll say about my boxes. It was a bit too low for everything. Close my knees, but. It's got a back leg that is higher than the front, if you know what I mean. I'd like to lower the back a bit more, but I can't. But that's that, nothing's perfect. I'll put in some some landscape now that just a bit that shows. It's just, because I, also my fields are just going up a little bit here. A lot of dry brush in here, a bit of sienna. This is a bit of grassy stuff showing through. I don't want um, to do too many washes on this. I want more bit of more detail because I'm trying to show grasses sticking up. I'll just I'll put some larger trees coming out of this. I'm going to go to 
the rigger now. Now I've been using the rigger to make large marks. I'm keeping the palette fairly limited so we can mm, a bit more water than that. So get the nice dark with the burnt umber and the ultramarine. Uh, it's a sort of middle distance here and we can show them coming down across here. Now a lot of people have had their Christmases and Christmas is ruined. So it's very simple. I, I, I'm not doing. It looks like I'm doing a lot of detail, but I'm really just tapping the the rough paper with the, with the brush and and I can put in some some shrubby brush stuff, brushwood in here. Vary the, uh, the intensity here and there. Just the three colours. But I'm warming, warming them up now. Let's get in some some darks in there now. Okay, I'm going to put in some uh, larger larger trees in this now. This is just plain after plain after plain of field, 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 separated by hedgerows. So we'll uh, put on the brown side. So we'll have one coming up here. So this has got to be warmer than what's behind. So I'm going to a bit of on that now. Vary the colours on, or the intensity. And we'll have a smaller one there. Coming down to there. Bit of green in there now. I'm doing these different, different sizes and we'll uh, carry this across here, we'll have it even warmer, one here, but I try not to repeat on the right when I'm doing on the left, but I can't really avoid it to a certain extent because I said that these are coming down to a, 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 low, a, a nearer plane, so let's take that one right up there. This is my shorthand for showing lots going on, ivy and coming down here. Right, that's quite a good tree actually, good shape. Let's get some dark. Bring the reflections down here. Yeah. 
Right, let's uh, go back over to the right hands for the trees and put, put in some... Uh, some trunks. We're coming up from this one here. I'll have a couple in there. On the blue, bluish side, to show them just a bit further, they're still all ivy and stuff coming out here. Didn't do any painting over the weekend, I, I don't know. Needed a little break. Try and catch your mood here. But we won't know what we've done until until we look at it in a mount at the end. Nice dark in there because that's the reflection coming down here. much stronger tree. I'm going to dry that off a bit. It's been much warmer. Grey and uh, blue and uh, umber. Do need a lot of water with this with the rigger. So this will be coming up. Look at that nice great thick line. Get a bit of a bit of a bit of warm in there. Warm colours here. Nice and dark in there, silhouetted against the light. So something like that, we're coming on. Just a little bit of bit of detail on there. Sorry if I'm masking you. But... Mm. Right, okay. Um, now here I've put some some greener, warmer colours. Blue. I've kept it out of the paints grey. I want this sort of effect. I mix a bit of bit of red in with it. Blue, load of paint, uh, lemon yellow. 
just flick up. This brush is so good for this sort of thing. Well, I will put in, increase the reflections in, in the uh, in the flooded fields. Just have a bit of just some flicks, flourishes. Nice heavy very, very rough. It looks as if I've done a lot, but you can see I've, I'm just bashing it in. Shouldn't say that, but right, bit of a signature on there. And we'll put it in the mount and have a look, see how bad that might be. A couple of couple of birds, I think. With this. I'm putting the birds over blobs. Okay, not a lot of colour in it, <coughs> but I've kept it with really um, lemon yellow, that's the one colour, a bit of raw sienna, blue, red, and burnt umber. That's about it, really. More burnt umber and blue than anything else. Um, I'll uh, just take that off and I'll get my mount and uh, we'll just see see what we have done. Readiness. Right, here we are. Uh, well, there we are. So very, very simple um, Somerset levels scene, flood. Um, can't do more sim simpler, simpler than that. Um, I do like to make it look as if it's been a little bit fussed, but it hasn't been. You can see that it's done very, very quickly. So there we are. Thank you for watching. We'll go into that. We'll just have a little look around the picture. Um, I'll have to just adjust the focus. Oh, I'll just go back to the automatic focus. I'm still getting used to using this camera with the light. I, the, my pictures are coming up a little bit on the dull side, but I've, I'm recording now in manual focus, so that it doesn't change when I put something in front of the lens, like my head. So there we are. See, there's, there's, there's nothing going on there really. There's a background. Little fence going across there. It's coming out again. I'm going to have another cup of tea now and see what I'm going to do next. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.